Hello and welcome to the Psalmaday Daily Devotion with me, Pastor Chris Mathis, from Epiphany Lutheran Church in Castle Rock, Colorado. Today our psalm is Psalm 4, and we read it in the English Standard Version. To the choir master, with stringed instruments, a psalm of David. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. O men, how long shall my honor be turned into shame? How long will you live, will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord God has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. Ponder in your own hearts on your beds and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us some good? Lift, lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be angry and do not sin. It's interesting that a lot of people think anger is automatically sinful. But we see here that there is a distinction, that it is possible to be angry without sin. Anger is an emotion that God has given us to indicate that some boundary, some uh, line has been crossed. Perhaps somebody destroyed or stole our property. Perhaps they uh, did something to damage our reputation or did something to hurt us financially or physically. In situations like that, it's right to be angry. At other times, we're angry in sin, either we're rightly angry about something but we overreact and we respond with an attack response or an escape response either uh, attacking that person with our words or our actions or just avoiding them entirely those are not healthy approaches in fact jesus says that if anybody calls his brother a fool a moron that it's the same as murder in god's eyes god has anger over sin. And so the key is for us to turn our anger into productive energy for the sake of reconciling with the other person and saying, hey, that's not okay. You wronged me. Now let's get right with each other so you can get right with God. Ephesians 4 has a particularly uh, protracted conversation about how to deal with anger. And if you turn in your Bible to Ephesians chapter 4, beginning at verse 26, you'll see there's a quotation here from Psalm 4. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Don't go to bed angry. Don't go to bed mad. Um, either let it go or work it out. Um, but you don't want to be thinking about that all night in your head. The psalm says that in peace we should lie, we will lie down and sleep because God keeps us in safety. And sometimes he has to keep us from the safety of our own anger and bitterness against others. So, um, be angry, but do not sin. And remember that God is reconciling the world to himself through Christ Jesus. Peace be with you, and have a great day. Thank you for tuning in for the Psalm a Day Daily Devotion. If you have been blessed by this message and ministry, please be sure to leave a note or a question in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much, and may God bless you each and every day through Jesus Christ and his wonderful word of promise.